Boris dancing now for 13 years, just over. Blackface was used as a way of a disguise. I've grown up with, with a, an all-male border Morris side back home in, in Worcestershire and Malvern, and you don't get Morris that becomes a lot rougher. Um, it's all men, it, it's fast-paced, the sticking, it's a lot harder than, than how we do. It was about uh, around Christmas time and all the ploughboys were out of work. Uh, they would go around in gangs, dancing uh, for money, doing it with menaces really. And they would just do very simple social dancing, so it wasn't really hard dancing to do. But I think if we kept to that, then it'd be a little bit boring for people to watch. So we sort of we do it in the style of Molly dancing. So the sort of stepping we do is what we believe that Molly dancing was. And we do black up, which they would have done. The Molly tradition certainly has the, the, the story to it that uh, I believe it's true that on Plough Monday, which is the first Monday after Epiphany, the, the local farmers and agricultural labourers, again this is the days before the Industrial Revolution when basically people worked on the land a lot more, um, people would, would go to the local squire's garden, his home, uh, they'd dance on his lawn and then demand money and if the money wasn't forthcoming they would take a plough and dig a big furrow across his lawn. Morris has been passed down from generation to generation. Um, there's, there's various different types of Morris. Uh, there's sort of like Cotswold Morris, which is you know, traditionally white. Um, there, there isn't sticks involved there. There's Border Morris, which is just black face normally. Um, and that, that was sort of from the Victorian time, I suppose, the end of the Industrial Revolution. And that tends to be far more energetic. Molly dancing comes from East Anglia. Um, again, it's another tradition, it's slightly different to the others. And from that, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. There's different ways of doing it. It's, it's a tradition. At the end of the day, it's an English tradition. And in partaking of the dancing, in kitting up, in going out in public and performing, we're preserving English tradition. I think that's the main draw to it. It's great fun. It's, it's at the end of the day, if you want it as a way of keeping fit, it's a great way of keeping fit. If you want to be part of an English heritage and a very much ongoing English heritage that's continually evolving, continually perpetuating itself, there's more Morris signs in the country now than there ever there have been.